Hello everybody, and welcome back to tutorial part 9, 10, 9? This one, you probably saw by the title, it's something very exciting. We're going to be actually taking a bit of a road trip today. Uh, so you can see here's the, the church. One thing I want to change real quick, we got to go fast. This is going to be probably a long video. Actually, I might split it into two parts. I don't know. Basically, we're going to want to take torches, and you can line this whole thing on both sides. Little quick update. Booyah. So both sides of this path <clears throat> leading to the church are lined just like that. So I haven't checked recently, but I'm pretty sure the bedrock seat does not include this area currently. So I'm thinking in the future, I'm going to make a more up-to-date bedrock seed download, which will include this area over here, Tommy's Exile, and a few other random places like Tubbo's Monument, the Jungle, uh, places like that. And it's going to be more of a small tutorial on how to actually download it. Because uh, I know a lot of people got really confused on how to do that, how to download it. Uh, and just for clarification, I know a lot of people, not a lot of people will see this, and there'll be a better video in the future. But there is no bedrock seed. People have been trying to figure it out, figure out one. There is no bedrock seed. There, it doesn't work. You can't convert it in any way. They run on two completely different coding systems, so it, there's no way to convert it from one platform to the other. Again, this really doesn't have to do with this tutorial, and honestly, you don't have to build it in the Dream SMP. If you're just if you're just wanting to build Techno's base in your own world, you can just follow this tutorial in a flat world or wherever the heck you're building it. So, we are going to be leaving this area. So, when you first go there, there is, of course, the slash TP command, which you can do to get to Techno's base. Um, but uh, we're going to fly there first, and we'll see for the... the well, actually, you can teleport in bedrock, but we're just, we're just gonna fly there so we load all the train. So we're gonna go to the end of the prime path. It's, it's this direction. It's basically, you wanna keep flying north. You see where we ended the prime path? Keep going. L we're just gonna keep going for quite some time, and then uh, also angle yourself a little bit right. Uh, I'll have my coordinates up right here. You can see so far we're at like 300, negative 800. So, you, so you'll come across this ocean over to the right, uh, and this is where like Tubbo's dock area is. Then this plains biome over here. Uh, this is where they were, t um, uh, Dream blew up that house when he was on the way to exile. And we're gonna hit this next ocean with this weird mountain structure. There were some fights on this mountain thing a few times. So, keep going across this water. And right over here, we have hit Tommy's exile land. So, this is, this is what Tommy looked like when he first, not what Tommy looked like, this is what the land looked like around Tommy's exile. Uh, there's like a swamp over here. Uh, this is where Tenret goes. Logs of Shire goes over there. Logs of Shire, whatever. And then there's the original portal. We're not going to touch this. We're going to keep going and we're going to start heading off more towards the left side. So you'll see there's the swamp right there and then there's this ice biome here. Uh, over there, there's also a village. So we're going to go into this ice biome, right? And we're going to keep going sort of at a 45 degree angle to the left. Hopefully, you'll run into this village over here. And basically, from this village, we're just going to go completely this direction, straight west. Uh, you go right past this lava pit, and right here, this area, this is Techno Base, where te Techno's house goes right there, Tommy's little house, the cobblestone, the cobblestone tower right there. Gosh, I can't speak today. Uh, and right here is where we're going to be building Techno's Base. Techno's Base is approximately at negative 90 by negative 2450. Alright, so if you are actually building this on the real world, you'll see there's this tree over here, and then we want to find this spot where there's four blocks sticking out. Uh, it's pretty much at negative 91, negative 240, or uh, negative 2450, like I said. And uh, what we're going to do, starting from the left side, we're going to go to the third, the third block in, and then we're going to go one, two, three, and on the fourth block, we're going to place a dark oak fence right there. Now, we're going to skip to the left and put one on the third one and on the other side, just like that. And that is the... Oh, wait, yeah, I think I messed it up. Yeah, it's one block too far away, and I want to put snow back. All right, so that's exactly where the house lines up. You can also see some times where the, the grass and flower patterns go. The flowers all go into the bee form over there, but um, <clears throat> anyways, what we're going to do, we're going to get some dark oak gates, connect them just like that, and then on uh, either side, we're going to put two gates like there and there. Uh, and then what we can do, we can knock out the, the snow and that grass in here. Oops, not like that. Uh, there we go. And we're actually... Well, we'll keep the gates. Alright, so, we're gonna get some stone bricks. We're gonna lay out the base of the building. So, behind this gate, we're gonna go... One stone brick, skip two. Stone brick, skip two. Stone brick, not open that. Stone brick, skip two. Stone brick. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna go over... And instead of placing it here, push it back. One. Just like that. that, that that's, that's what we have to do right there. And uh, then... We're going to skip one, two, three, four, place one, and then we're going to skip two, place one, skip two, place one, skip two, place one, skip two, place one, and then we're going to bring it back right over here and just place one in the middle, just like that. 
So that is exactly what this looks like. And actually, you see where where we have this offset one? If you ignore that one and come to this one, we can actually place it in the middle here. So you can see like this rectangle is the actual house, and that's just like the staircase um, that bumps out right there. Now, where we have all of these all of these stone bricks, we're gonna place two more on top of all of these, just like this. All every single one of them make them a total of three blocks tall. Every single one, just like that. Now, what we can do, uh, you see where the, the main house rectangle is? We can connect them with stone bricks along the top of all of these. Boom. Just like this. Over here. And then, and also right here. So that, that's the main house. And then, we can go against the back there. And then this side. And, and that's it. We don't want to, don't place two right here. Leave that one empty. Right, so what we're going to do, we're going to start filling in the patterns. And it, it's mostly stone. So what we're going to do on all of these, I think this will be better. We're going to fill in all of these with stone, and then I can go back, and uh, there's like sometimes like some random anisite in there to make it look better. I guess this is probably like one of the best builds on the server in my opinion. So if you do want to, you can just build this in your own world. And actually, we're going to leave this one empty. We can knock out these two, and then there's going to be two double doors. We'll worry about that later. Uh, and then we can also do it back here. There, so it should be filled in like that. Obviously, leave, leave this spot empty for now. Let's put in our stairs real quick. So I'm um, in line with this. We're going to put two stairs and two more stairs, two more stairs leading up. And then uh, spruce blocks. You can just use double spruce slabs or blocks or whatever. doesn't actually make a difference at all. Right. So where we have these stairs, let's put in the first insight pattern. Uh, we want to put one here and then these two spots right here. And uh, you see where this, this grass is? We can actually knock that out and just make that snow. Uh, it must have uh, got broken and then obviously like it snowed over that. Right, so this side, we are going to put andesite in the this corner and this corner. We're going to put the next one, the uh, top right corner. This one, we're going to make like a, a, an L shape backwards L. And then this one, the bottom corner, just like that. We're going to flip over to this side. We're going to put one up here and then one down there. All right, and then facing towards the, the horse stable, we basically just need to put one down here and we need to put one up here. All right, next thing we're gonna do, where this doorway is supposed to be, we're actually gonna knock these two back out, and they're supposed to be upside down stairs right there. And then uh, I'm gonna get some spruce doors and uh, actually come from the inside and place the doors just like that. Uh, that's what that's like. And then these two things of snow are uh, knocked out right there. If that makes a difference, <laughs> which I don't know if it does, but we're gonna keep going here. Uh, we're gonna get some spruce logs and white concrete. And uh, on the front part of the house where we had this area, we're gonna go up one, two, three, four, five logs, skip two. Uh, in the same sort of the same spots where the stone bricks are down here. Uh, so there's four pillars over here And there's no pillars over by the stairs So we're gonna stick with this front part of the house over here and uh, let's fill in this one with stone up to there uh, And we only have to go four blocks up. Actually, we probably should have done this connect the tops of this with spruce just like that The middle one we're gonna fill in all with white concrete uh, Let's fill in this one with white concrete as well and uh, on this third one over here We actually have to knock out these two right there. There's gonna be like a trapdoor window uh, there is some andesite mixed in here, so we're going to go there, and there, and there. So it makes like a sort of weird arch shape, just like that. Alright, so let's actually finish up this area while we have the chance. Uh, so where we put those three fences originally, make this a total of three blocks high on all of them, just like that. And we're going to get some we're gonna get some slabs, and uh, wait, what we're going to want to do is put slabs right here, and then a full block behind it, and then a slab back there, right? And let's do that on the other side. A slab, a full block, and a slab like that. And then we want to do that in the middle as well. A slab, full block, and slab. And on top of all of these, a spruce stair. Now, the, the spruce slabs that go in between these, we're going to connect them here at the bottom. And then just place the upper slab uh, right there and there. And then slabs there and there. So it looks like that. And then from the underneath, uh, these you see these two parts sort of like bump out just like that. And that is exactly how that goes. Right, so this side over here where we have the stairs, we're going to bring up pillars in the middle and then the far edge and then connect them. Uh, and then over here, we're going to make another window shape like that, leaving that. And then we're going to put two up there and then upside down stairs. And then we can put our doors from the inside. That's like the main the main door. You walk up the stairs and go in right there. Uh, and then what we can do on, on this edge over here, we're going to add an extra three stairs and then put like a sort of these shapes of concrete and that'll just that's sort of the roof right there uh, sort of helpful uh, this side is super simple put it in the same spots as before leaving gaps of two connect them along the top 
and, and then right here, the one on the left, we're going to leave a window facing that way. And on this side, we're going to place a window facing on that side. Again, if I'm going too fast, sorry about that. It's a lot of building. I want to get it all done in one video. Or it might be a part two for like all the other stuff around it. But at least techno space. So if you do it, you can just like pause it. You can always rewind, slow me down, whatever you need. Uh, and this one we're going to fill just with white concrete. Perfect. Uh, this side, we're going to split it again. Uh, connect it along the top. And then this side, we're going to fill with stone. Because this is the other half of the chimney. And this side is just all white concrete. <clears throat> now we need our andesite back. There's some andesite patterns in the bottom here on the right. Uh, and then there and there. That's the patterns. And then let's copy what we did on that side over here. So three like that. Uh, make these shapes with our concrete. And uh, boom. That's pretty much all of the basic walls in. Now we're going to get our dark oak stairs and dark oak spruce stairs. Or dark oak. Dark oak stairs and spruce stairs. I don't know. I said dark oak twice. <laughs> um, we're, what we're going to do. We're going to get stairs and go from probably from this side where the pen is down here. And uh, so, like, place these out. It's basically just like a, a normal roof, except I keep messing it up. And then you go upside down, and then on top, upside down, on top. Uh, basically just like this, over and over. And then on this, this middle one right here, what we want to do, we place an upside down stair. And then, like, face away from the house and place a stair like that. So it sort of, like, arches upward. Uh, and now, let's do this from the other side, and it should connect perfectly. So boom, almost there, one more upside down, and one more like that. And that is the roof angle you get. Uh, we'll, we'll go back and add all the details into that later. So now we just gotta drag the spruce all the way across. You can't really see the connecting spruce logs, but uh, just trust me, take my word for it, they're there. <clears throat> and then now we have to do the exact same thing on the other side. I'll leave this in just so that anyone can uh, see in case. And you place the upside down one there, regular one right there, and do it on the other side. Uh, and then we'll just connect the stairs along the top again. Boom. And you connect it along the top perfectly. Alright, so now what we're going to do, um, we're going to take spruce, so it's like a, a trim of dark oak all the way around it. And now we're going to connect everything with spruce. Just go along. This is really easy roof. Uh, we're going to have to add a few things to the roof here and there. Uh, that'll be a little bit more tricky, but we'll go block for block on that. So you like just like this, and then on the top, we're going to get spruce slabs and connect it like that. So it, it, it like arches up and then it goes to slabs. So let's fill in the stairs over here. And there we go. That That's the, that's the very basic roof done. Uh, we're going to get some spruce fences, and over here, we're going to put a railing going all the way along it up to there. Uh, and there we go. The house is already looking pretty good. Let's get some oak trap doors and go from the inside for the windows. So any of the spots in the white concrete, you basically want to place one on the bottom and flap it up, and from the, the top and flap it down. So the windows point out like that. And then in these spots right here. And uh, there we go. That, that's, that's like the super basic house done. Let's put in some floors here. Uh, right where you come in from the stairs, this floor is going to have a spruce floor, but it's just upside down, or upward facing slabs like this so we're gonna fill in this whole row uh this whole floor in like this excuse me boom right there and then there's actually gonna be a hole right there uh if it's dark in here don't worry we'll add some lighting and there's gonna be a ladder down here and then this room we actually need to dig out this whole layer so i'm actually going to get the wand tool and we're gonna cut out this whole layer of course you can pause it and um cut it out it's not that much oh Oh, oh, that's satisfying. Right, so now that we have this room down here, what we gotta do, uh, we have to continue continue these patterns down. So everywhere there's like the stone brick pillars, extend that down one block, and then extend the stone down, uh, and then we'll fix the patterns in here in a second. Uh, well, actually, maybe a little later. And then right here, these two grass blocks are supposed to be there, but get your stairs and put two stairs just like that, and that sort of blocks it. And then the only thing left in here, we just need to make a stone brick floor. Super easy. Of course, I feel like that's become my motto or something. Put that in. Uh, let's get some ladders. We're not going to put a ladder right there, because there's a sign right there for some fan art. Uh, but we're going to put three ladders here, and then more ladders going up to the same layer of that. Alright, perfect. Now, this room in here, we're going to get some full blocks, um, full spruce plank blocks. And uh, right where the layer of like all these connecting... Um, logs are we're gonna make this a full layer of just regular stairs or not not stairs why do i keep saying stairs 
uh, just regular planks. Not like a, instead like that one where it's just slabs. This one is full planks all the way across. Obviously leaving a spot for the ladder. And that actually up here there's going to be one more ladder. Uh, we'll come back up here in a second. So that's all the basic floors and stuff in the house. Now let's add the, the details out here. Okay, so we're going to start off with the chimney on the, on the left side of the house. When you're looking at the stable, it's above that. So in this corner, we're going to knock out this stair and this stair. And we're going to put two... Well, you can put one down here. You really can't see it from the inside. But uh, we're going to do it just like that. And then put like a 2x2 two two square of, of stone right there. And then what we're going to do, we're going to put two andesite on the left side of that. And then a stone... And uh, down, down here, we're going to get an andesite stair and face it just like that. So it makes that shape just like that. We're going to get a campfire, put a campfire on top of that. And then uh, surround the whole thing with trap doors just like this. Uh, it's a strat you see strategy that uh, a lot of the builders use in um, Lomanberg all the time. So, uh, yeah, there's the chimney right there. So next thing we're going to do, we're going to clear our inventory a little bit. We're going to get some our stairs back, uh, the trap door, white concrete, and the slab. I love pick blocks so much. <laughs> and uh, there's this little this little window thing that sticks out here, and then we're gonna have to build a mirror image on that side over there. So um, <clears throat> come to the come to the roof over here on this edge, the right side, and you see where this stair is, the spruce stair, like uh, right here. We're gonna like go to the next one next to that, and on top of it, place one facing that way, right? And then what we can do, we can knock out this stair behind it so it connects just like that. Um, and then we're gonna knock out all three of these. We're gonna knock out three. So then there's three left before you hit the chimney. If you've done it right, we're gonna do an upside down one, an upright one, and then one facing upside down like that, and then pointing. So it's the same. It's the same strategy we used on the edges over there. Uh, we're gonna do it on the other side here. So where we have these three stairs, put one down right there, and then upside down, and then upright, just like that. Now we're gonna knock out one more stair. We're gonna knock out that one. So we knocked out three, and then that one. Now we're gonna get the spruce stairs. Connect one on that side. Connect one on that side, and then get the slabs, and connect it along the top, just like that. Boom. Super easy. Right, so, um, we'll worry about the, the inside for now. It's kind of hard to, uh, to do from out here. So basically what we did over here, we need to do on this other side as well. Oh, oops. Uh, and it's one block away from the edge again. So we have that stair, then place it next to it. Uh, knock out three behind it, and then that one up there. Uh, and then from there, pretty much just repeat the exact same steps. We'll make our little archway right here. Uh, boom. Backwards. Uh, one thing to make sure that you're, you're doing it right... I'm almost done here, uh, is the placement. So if I look like at an aerial shot of the house, you can see the stables right there, and then the chimney's on that side, and on the right side. And instead of putting it like directly in line with that one, it's like all over there, um, off to the left side. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much the entire roof. So now what we can do, we can actually start the interior. All right, so when you come in from the, the basement level, the ground level, uh, we're gonna come through the, the doors here, and there's gonna be a lantern right next to the stair right there. Um, and then, uh, we'll worry about these signs in a second. And there's going to be a lantern in line with this. Just like that. Right, so along this edge, there's going to be some chests. Uh, actually, we should probably figure out... Um, no, actually, we're good. For, okay. So, the chests that are over here, we're going to put a double chest uh, a double chest right there. And then it's it's three, it's like three double chests high. And you got to do that along the entire back side, every single row. So it'll get a little tricky here when we get to the, the end... Just like that, and then this one, I actually recommend knocking out the floor here, and then you can get your chest in place, not open it, and just like that, so let's patch up our floor, and we can run back down here, <clears throat> and that, that's pretty much this entire room, there's nothing, actually there's a crafting table right here, right there, in that spot, so let me show you, I, I, I pre-typed these signs, you can see, so when you're, when you're walking in the room, right on this block, the sign should say, on the second line, buy at, uh, jello tea, uh, and basically, there's just like, um, what do you call that? Like the, the big fan art thing, I think like right over here. And there's another one right here. So that that's what's going on here, like the, the map art, you know you know what I'm talking about. And then this one, on the second line, underneath the, the ladder right here on the ground level. Uh, second line, by, this time by is capital, this one is lowercase. By, uh, at Pecan, or Pecan, the Doth, right? And uh, that's, that's that. Uh, we can actually knock out this one, put a stone brick there, and then there's going to be a ladder. And, um, well, actually this one's currently there. But, uh, that's going to go down to the lower level, which we will do later. We're actually going to go up to the next level. To okay, so this room has, like, a lot of stuff in it. So, uh, when you're looking at the ladder over here, there's going to be a lantern up there. And then put another lantern in the row with that light. 
or with not the light enroll with that the, the spruce logs right there so there's a two by two of blue carpet right there at the door um and then what we got to do we want to get a lodestone put the lodestone in the corner a broom stand on the ground and a broom stand on top of it then what we need to do we need to put a trap door like that and then one on the floor and flap it up and that's like the box that uh tommy hides in uh we need to get a stone cutter next to that and then over here if you want to go you can put an anvil but if you want to go for that super extra detail currently it's a chipped anvil uh put a one chest here and then a smithing table next we're going to want to get uh two stairs two stone stairs and um we're going to put a campfire in the corner here and then put two stairs facing against the wall there and there and then two upside down ones facing there and there uh and then oh actually oops sorry this one down here is actually an andesite it's sort of like mixed and then double andesite there and there and then we actually need a stone block boom right there that's the the fireplace right there we're gonna get a double chest here another double chest on top of it down here crafting table ender chest uh double chest right there and then a furnace floating up there and then a lantern in that corner which i know is it's crazy uh we're gonna get a spruce boat and we're gonna put a boat boom right there uh if you want you can put an inner in there call him edward I mean, if you really want to, but I'm in peaceful, and I recommend doing peaceful so that grass blocks don't get broken by Endermen. And, uh, boom, you can put a boat down here, or more like right there, and then you can put a zombie villager in there. Um, and usually it says, like, placeholder for Filza, or something like that. Um, alright, so we're gonna get a spruce sign, there's one more right here, and it says, says that. Second line, by, this time by is lowercase, uh, Kiwi Cabot. So, <laughs> there you go. That, now we're gonna move on to this layer. Alright, so when you start this layer up here, right where we have this ladder, we actually need to place one more ladder right there. And, uh, okay, so we need to finish these walls up. They're, they're pretty unfinished. So get your spruce planks and do, like, a row of spruce planks uh, going all the way across and then on the other side. And we're actually going to have to replace a little bit of that with um, some bookshelves down over here. So where we have this area, just put, like, three blocks of white concrete, boom, just like that. And over here, three blocks of white concrete. And then you're going to put a lantern on top of those two spots. And then spruce slabs and put a row of spruce slabs along the top just like that i don't know why it doesn't really add anything but there it is uh by the ladder we're gonna put a grindstone it's actually been moved it's right there and then we're gonna get a white bed right there and actually i'm sorry the grindstone is back up here <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> okay uh actually one thing i forgot we're gonna need some oak trap doors and uh flap it uh go from down and up and that actually kind of finishes up the the outside right there uh we're gonna underneath here there's gonna be a sign that says channel member bell in all caps just like that and then there's three dashes uh and like that so just forms an arrow pointing at an emerald block which goes right here and then we're gonna put the bell hanging on top of this area right here so uh you know techno has a little sellout timer and uh, that's this little area there's an enchantment setup over here so on this back wall to hide this stone we can sort of put six bookshelves like that so then again that's sort of what I was saying like it doesn't really matter if there's stone or anything down there i'm just putting stone because i don't really know uh we're gonna knock out these three blocks and we're gonna put um bookshelves and then we're going to knock out these four blocks on this side so i think uh it, they're actually under here there's also supposed to be a bookshelf but that's like a crazy detail that <laughs> no one really needs to know and then boom put an enchantment table in the middle there and that somehow gives you max enchantments uh pretty nice and cozy up here and that's pretty much techno's interior all right so now that we've done everything up there we're actually going to go downstairs past the ground floor and we're going to start digging out the basement down here so i'm going to temporarily get rid of this ladder so once we've gone down right here we're gonna dig down an extra three blocks one two three right and so what we need to do we need to dig out a room underneath this that is the exact same size as the room above it so this room is five by i think eight one two three four five six seven eight yeah so you need to dig a five by eight hole so two blocks on either side and this room is three blocks tall so the ceiling should be the stone bricks above and a total of eight so go to either side this is one two three four five six seven eight two three four five and we'll dig out a giant square here until we hit the other side and everything needs to be three blocks tall i'm going to get out my handy dandy world edit wand again uh and i'm going to do that cut this whole room out boom so you should have a hole just like that and actually underneath the stairs here there should actually be some stone bricks right there a uh, quick little change now let's um let's go back over here we're gonna get some stone back uh and some glass here uh we need the stone bricks so when you're facing this side get my ladders back we need to put two ladders here just like that and uh that's that's pretty much it you like it's kind of scuffed you like climb up here and you have to like jump onto this area and um yeah, it's kind of weird so uh, on the right side of this ladder we're gonna put two things of stone right here 
and then two things of stone up there, and then glass in the middle. Other side, we're gonna do the same thing, but this time it's out of stone bricks instead of stone. And uh, he has his two little people trapped in here. And I, someone's gonna have to help me in the comments because I actually don't know how the heck I'm supposed to get those Halloween characters back. So if anyone knows, uh, say something in the comments. I'll be reading all the comments, uh, doing my best to try and figure that out. Um, but yeah, so when you come down the ladder, this whole this spot right here, we're gonna go one, two, three, and on the fourth one, place that. And uh, you should have this andesite pattern. If you're building this somewhere else, you can add this if you really want to. But there's five andesite right here, and then this shape on the ground. Which is good. If you if you dig out the room and you have this shape, you know that your house is in the right spot. If you don't have this shape, uh, either you're just or either like you're on a different world or something has gone off somewhere. So, um, which you know that's fine. It doesn't you know, it doesn't have to be perfect, but you know that's just for accuracy. We're gonna knock out a hole right there. There's gonna be some water, and then down here that is going to lead off into the um, into Tommy's area, which is the last thing we're gonna do in this tutorial. Uh, we're gonna get an oak fence and put an oak fence here, and uh, I'm gonna type some signs, and I'll be right back. There we go. So when all the signs are typed, it should look like this. There actually used to be three more signs here, uh, but in a conversation, Techno had broken them away. Um, so it says up here, to do room, uh, in all caps, and then there's four exclamation points after room. Then over here, we have self foot. And uh, I, I should note, in between all the dashes, put a dash and then put a space before you start typing. So dash, space, self foot, leave these two empty. Uh, get Techno Blade's weapons, Techno Blade, and then like the ES of the, of, uh, the end of Blade, sort of like chopped up like that. Then Mind Terrorism and Lemanberg. Lemanberg is spelled with an E in this case. Uh, cringe Therapy, Spelling, and then Build a Girlfriend. And if you want to know what the other ones said, one right here on the bottom said like, Overall, Get More Leverage in All Caps. Uh, this is just if you want it. This one up here, I'm pretty sure it said Upgrade Weapons and then Build the Assertive Cobblestone Tower, uh, which have all been finished. Or it says Build Assertive Cobblestone Tower of Power, specifically. And uh, yeah, so now we can move on to this room down here. If you're not on the seat, Come to this spot right here, and you're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. You dig down nine, and on the tenth block, replace that with wool, or not wool, uh, yellow concrete, and just like that. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna we're gonna have to dig out a room here. So we're gonna turn this way. Uh, so you, you look down the hole right here, and then turn to the the right, and we're gonna go an extra two blocks there and there, and make this room a total. It's a total of four blocks tall. There should be the iron pattern just like that right there as well. And then uh, we're going to make this a room, a big rectangle, a total of, this is one, two, three, four. A total of four blocks. Uh, so it's a three by four room, and it's four blocks tall, just like this. Uh, real quick to help us out, if you're looking at the room, there's a torch right there, so that'll help brighten it. Alright, so uh, we need to put a furnace down here. And a crafting table right there. We're gonna get some of the yellow concrete and uh, knock out this. Oops, we didn't need to get rid of that, but we're gonna do that right there. Uh, we're gonna knock out one right there, and then the, this entire floor is yellow, yellow concrete, just like that. We're gonna get a bed, aiming off till there. All right, uh, we're gonna do the the signs sort of last, but we're gonna need to dig out a room right here, and this leads off into Wilbur's room. So go like three blocks in for now. We'll do more in a second. Um, we're gonna knock out these three and put make those cobblestone. A button right there, a torch right there, another piece of cobblestone up there. Um, yeah, this is kind of crazy. Oh, and also some of it gets replaced back with um, smooth stone because that's what Techno had on him when he placed like emeralds over here. Um, uh, we're gonna put two yellow concrete underneath that torch right there, another yellow concrete there, and then this is actually the corner where the prime log goes. So we're gonna knock out that and that up here two more yellow concrete and then we're actually gonna knock out blocks beyond there put one there the prime log goes on this block so let's dig out here and here we need some chests down here we're gonna put a double chest on the side of the bed and then a single chest um, just like that there we go so let's see where does let's get the prime log currently it is a stripped birch log that uh, changes all the time, so, you know, you can update that on your own free will. But there's that right there, and then we need to get the bell back. It keeps getting broken away, but I like having the bell there. It's pretty random right now. Uh, yellow concrete right there, and uh, a torch there. And again, if you're on your own random world, feel free to add, like, the the iron and dirt, diorite, um, granite and stuff at your own, at your own will, whatever. So... You know, you can do that. If you don't want to do it, you don't have to. So, we're going to put a torch up there. 
We need to place that with smooth stone. Uh, there's some yellow in the ceiling. So let's see. We're, um, oh yeah, we also need to replace that with stone. Okay, so we need to put one here next to it towards the cobblestone and there. Like that. So there's like two diagonal iron ores right there. <laughs> this room is crazy looking. I know. Alright, so this, this spot right here is the tunnel where the doors go. So we're just going to dig that out for a little bit. We'll, we'll come back to that. Uh, we'll come back to that room. But so you see where this one diorite dot is? Go two over, and I think there should be a torch right there. Either that or it's one block to the, to the right from the, the door. I don't know. I'll figure that out. Uh, so now let's let's go ahead and build Wilbur's little room. So when you keep when you when you dig in, there should be the granite here, two two blocks of granite or uh, two by two, and then we need a two by two of stone. Then we go one more, and then we can knock it back one. All right, and then from from in here, this needs to be a total of four blocks. This is one, two, three, four, and you should hit this this granite pattern as well. And then we'll knock all of this out like that in a room. There should be a torch, right there in this room if you can sort of see where i'm looking at and then uh, from that torch go two blocks to the right and knock out one right there and that is that room right let me add the oh let's get the ladders we gotta put ladders going all the way up here boom and uh, actually it should stop like that because sometimes you would like replace the stone there so you fall down like this now i can get my signs let's help put all the signs in so the signs should be just like this uh when you're looking at this wall right here uh, up here, we want to put uh, DINRET in all caps in the, or not in all caps, in all lowercase on the second line. Over here, leading into this room, we want to say ROOM OF, and then second line, GHOST SPUR, all lowercase as well. And then right here in all caps, we want to say SOLVE WHO SKINNED THE LOG, and that, that was back when the original one got, like, uh, skinned. Now this is actually from, uh, it's supposed to be like from logs here, but, um, yeah, so now we can grab our doors. I also got rid of the torch in there. I was, I was wrong about that. Um, so what we gotta do, where this one diorite dot is, we're gonna put a door in line with that, open it up, skip a block, put another door, but this time it, it uh, opens up to the right. This one opens to the left, opens to the right. Skip another one, and place another one, and that one also opens to the right. So it should go in that in that order. If, if you even, even if you care, if you want that. So uh, what I'm gonna do real quick, what we gotta do, basically, there's like, it, it's like an escape and it goes up to the end. Just, let's keep, we're gonna keep digging. Past this diorite, past this granite, past this stone, keep going, keep going, and whenever we hit diorite again, that's when we're going to stop. Alright, here's the diorite, so we want to go uh, in one, two, three blocks of the diorite and stop there. So you should have this pattern in this one, uh, this one andesite right here. Oh, it's creepy, ugh, creepy cave noises. Uh, there should be a torch on the ground at the first block of that diorite. And basically, in this one spot, just look up and dig all the way out. And you should hit this block right here. Or this is where you should end up, in the ground. And there's actually another grass block there now, with some snow on it. Um, so let me get my ladders back. And we can put ladders going all the way up this, just like that. And not right there, though. Let's go back down. We have some torches to place in here. And uh, also right here, we're going to knock out three blocks right there, and then one block there. Right, so... Um, uh, how do I do this? Basically, from this one torch on the ground, we're going to go 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And it goes on the right side of the wall, just like that. And then, this one's pretty easy. Right here on this one uh, granite piece, and another easy one, where the end of this diorite is, go to the second one right there, and that's the torch placement in this area. Uh, I'm not going to be doing Tommy's strip mine. I think that's kind of overkill, but there is a strip mine in here now. Um, if, if somebody really wants that, I'll probably, like, just fly through that in one of the tutorials, and you can try and copy that, but I think it's kind of crazy if I try and do that. Uh, but, um, uh, there we go. That's pretty much this whole room. Um, it, it's incredibly ugly, but that's the room. Now, last thing to finish up this tutorial, after we do this, we're gonna go ahead and end up part one of the techno base area. Uh, we have some, we have some more details to do out here. So, when you're looking at the front of the house, um, right where all the spruce logs are, we're gonna put an extra slab underneath all of these and then in between them we're gonna get dark oak gates and connect these with gates just like that not open it connect it with gates like that let's go around to the back side do the same thing over here oops here's sort of the finishing touches of the house that make it look all nice all right what we got to do up in up in these spots um we want to put two fences one two fences and then a gate on either side and then underneath this fence put a lantern hanging right there 
And we gotta do that on the other side as well. Two fences, gate on either side, and a lantern at the bottom of that. A uh, small detail if you want it. There is currently snow on these. All four of these spots. No, 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 just these two. Just these two. Yeah, there's snow on these two spots because snow actually can't get here. Uh, there's snow on these two spots. Right, and last thing we're going to do in this tutorial, and we are done out of here. We, there's some grass up here. So wherever these two windows are, we're going to put three gl grass blocks just like that. And I'm going to get some spruce trapdoors and spruce slabs. We are going to put three... Uh, bleh. No, no, just two. And then in the middle, a trapdoor. That, wow, that was a terrible explanation. Two slabs on the outside and then a trapdoor in the middle. And then just put trapdoors all the way around this thing. And there's nothing on top of it at the moment. Right, that's that's pretty much going to do it for this tutorial. Just because I'm here and I can. There's a torch in that corner right there. Um, there's a bunch of torches all over this place and the snow is melting. But uh, yeah, we can get rid of this tree as well. This tree is not here. Ooh, that was satisfying. And uh, yeah, there we go. That completes part one. Anyways, guys, that's going to be the end of part one. In uh, part two, we'll probably build Tommy and Wilbur's house, the bee farm, cobblestone tower, uh, torches, finish up this area, everything that we need to do to complete this area. If you want to support the channel, please subscribe. I would really appreciate it if you're following these tutorials. I assume hopefully most of you are, but there's a large percentage that aren't subscribed. If you really want to support the channel, you can actually become a channel member, and I'm going to have a channel member Minecraft server that I'll be playing on, and uh, you guys can play with me. I'll be streaming that on Twitch and stuff. Uh, all my socials are linked in the description if you want to go follow any of those. I really appreciate it. And uh, I will see you guys in part two. Goodbye.